the best of the best first question came from my guy matthew he said good morning hope everything is well with you and the fam oh yeah yeah everything is great i appreciate you and i hope everything is even better for you and your fam he said so people are saying this is the best group of receivers lamar jackson has ever had and that is true yeah people definitely been saying that and on paper it is really looking like it let's continue though he said but what people aren't talking about is this is arguably the best quarterback that Odell Beckham Jr. has ever had to throw to him. Ooh. That's a conversation right there. We're going to have to have that conversation in a minute. He said, we know Odell has been like that in his career, and he was working with middle-of-the-pack quarterbacks. Now, with a quarterback as dynamic as Lamar, this may be, pending injury, but hopefully not, one of the best seasons of Odell's career. What are your thoughts? Ooh, you got some takes in this one, but I love it. I love it. So, um, first off, is this the best quarterback that Odell Beckham Jr. has ever played with. Let's think. He came out uh, and played with Eli Manning. Um, he also played with Baker Mayfield, and then he also played with Matt Stafford. Now, Baker Mayfield, uh, not going to include him in it. I mean, we could we got to include him in it because Odell played with him, but Baker, no. Um, now, Matthew Stafford. Uh, Matthew Stafford was pretty good, and with the Lions, Matthew Stafford was always a solid quarterback, but just they just could not get it done. Uh, there was a lot of other reasons, too, why they just could not get the job done. But Matthew Stafford, he was always solid. Then he went to a good team, much better team, and then, boom, they went to the Super Bowl like that. Uh, Eli Manning. Eli Manning, was a, he was always a, a, a tricky quarterback. He kind of reminds me a bit of Joe Flacco to where regular season, they chill him. They chill. They may have some fire games. They may have some nuts on fire game, but regular season they they cooling it. But then playoff comes. Oh, whoa, who? Where this guy come from? Um, is Eli Manning better than a Lamar Jackson? I mean, it's hard to compare since they both not playing now. But overall, now more accomplished. Obviously, Eli Manning. More accomplished, obviously, Matt Stafford, cause, because they can hold up their hands and a ring will go right here. Uh, well, then, well, Eli has two rings, but or they'll have at least one ring on their hand. Lamar doesn't have that yet. Not yet. So more accomplished, they got that all day, every day. But the better quarterbacks, think about this. They have stuff, well, Lamar Jackson, there's stuff that he can do that they just, they can't do. But what can they do that Lamar Jackson can't? Think about it. Just think, think about it. Think about it. And I'll leave you with that. Now, for your second question, you said Odell Beckham Jr. He said uh, he may actually have... Uh, the one of the best years of his career. Oh, now that I don't know about that one because looking at some of the like, it looks like he had a couple of best years in his career. Like his rookie year, ninety-one catches, thirteen hundred yards, twelve touchdowns. Following year, ninety-six catches, fourteen hundred yards, thirteen touchdowns. Following year, one hundred one catches, thirteen hundred yards, ten touchdowns. So, and then there was another year he had 77 catches, 1,000 yards, six touchdowns, 74, touch, 74 catches, 1,000 yards, four touchdowns. That was the Cleveland days. But anyway, so with Odell, will this be his best year ever? No, I'm, I'm not expecting that. And, and honestly, I don't think that's a realistic expectation. Reason being because there are other people too. Odell Beckham Jr. wasn't with no Mark Andrews. And you know Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, their connection is like that. Uh, but you got Rashad Bateman, you got Devin Duvernay, you got Zay Flowers, you got Nelson Aguilar, you got Light, so you got J.K. You get and you got Lamar doing his thing too. So I, I'm not gonna expect, and I don't think it will be realistic to expect this to be Odell Beckham Jr.'s best statistical career year ever. I, I don't think that's a realistic expectation at all. It would be nice if it is. Hey, we ain't gonna complain if it is, but I don't think we should expect it. Um, but can this be a, his most successful year? Hey, I mean, he already got a Super Bowl, so he's already had a most successful year, but I would love if he added another one. And what would be some factors that would play into him getting another Super Bowl ring? Well, obviously Lamar Jackson, obviously health, obviously the offense, obviously the play calling, obviously the guys around him, obviously the defense, obviously the coaching job. There's a lot of different factors that play into Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, having his most successful, well, another su super successful season this year. But Let's talk about another factor first. It's August, so you know what that means. Football season is back, officially now. And I know how easy it can be to grab the wings, grab the pizza, grab the beer, and just go all in during the games. But are you looking for a more calorie conscious meal during this busy season? You can try some delicious, dietitian approved calorie swap meals from Factor. And each of them have around or less than 550 calories per serving. And even though summer's over, and I know you got the body that you want, it can be easy to get caught slacking. So Factor can help you refresh your healthy habits without missing a beat. You can choose 
choose from over 34 weekly flavor packed dietitian approved meals ready to eat within two minutes and as we all watch the games more we trying to go to the grocery store less factor not only cuts down on those trips but it also cuts down on the cooking so there's more time for us to relax and watch the games in fact it has so many different options that help you stick to your goals they make it easy for you and you know i'm all about making stuff easier speaking of easy let me show you just how easy it is to make a factor meal You see that? It's, it's so simple. So I know now you wanna find out how you can order your own Factor, right? Of course you do. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code engraven50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code engraven50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Just trying to help you get right, baby. Team Keep It Clean, welcome to another episode of Question From Subs where you can ask any question you want to and we answer it in a video just like this. Uh, next question came from my guy Jordan. He said it could always be worse. I think instead of looking at the bad about Marlowe's injury, we should focus on the good and could help or possibly cover up the bad. Ravens have the best safety duo in the league. Do they? Marcus Williams and Kyle Hamilton. Now, look, I, I like Kyle Hamilton. I think he was nice last year, and he he grew. He continued to grow as the season went along. But he was not – while he was rated super high by PFF and all that, he was not playing a traditional safety role. So, like – and he said it himself, too. He, he said it himself. So, I, I cannot call them the best safety duo in the league. I'm not going to do that. I hope they end up being that. I really do, but I, I can't call them that right now. But anyway, continuing. Uh, he said the Ravens have the best safety duo in the league, the best inside linebacker duo in the league. Uh, the, Niger the Nigerian Purple Nightmare coming off the outside with 90 and 99. Last but not least, the monsters we have coming through the front with Matt a Beast in Washington. So the Ravens and also we as fans could be in a worse position. No, no, no. You, you, you're right about that. Uh, and we, got, we still got plenty to look forward to, even with Marlon Humphrey being temporarily sidelined. So I like that you putting a positive spin on it. It is a huge blow. It is a huge blow in Marlowe being out, but the positive is that he is not expected to be out for the entire season, uh, and they should have him for the long haul. Now, this next question came before the Ravens signed Ronald Darby, and so look, I, I think they're going to end up signing Anthony Brown. The date is August 18th. Uh, this question was sent on August 16th, so it's a couple days late, but I mean, I mean, when you're seeing this, it'll be a couple days after that. But anyway, uh, it came from my guy Anthony. He said, what's up, Engraven? Hope everything is going great. I like that. He ain't say going good. I hope everything is going great. Love it. He said, I'm sure we all know about Marlowe, uh, but do you think EDC makes a big move on a cornerback just like he almost got Darius Slay? I mean, why not, right? Now, this is a good question, though. Even with them signing uh, Ronald Darby and again, I think they're going to sign Anthony Brown with Cito. Um, could EDC make a big move for a cornerback? Mm. I don't think he will. I, I don't think he will. I, I think he'll just Stick with what they got now. I, I think he'll look around like if, see how the Ravens are doing in week one, week two, seeing how they're getting by and whatnot, and then week three. But if, if like, it's just all kinds of bad. If the secondary, which I don't expect them to be, even with Marlon Humphrey out, but if they are all kinds of bad, then I could see them possibly making a big move. But you got, you expected to have Marlon Humphrey coming back, and it shouldn't be too long while he's out. So I can't expect them to do anything crazy. And the last question on this episode came from my guy, Dominic, who's been a patron for eight months. So I appreciate that, Dominic. He said, what's up, Engraven? Just wanted to send you some love for sending us and Team Keep It Clean so much love. Uh, we really appreciate you and all you do to inform us and inspire us literally every day. Thank you for that. No, I, I thank y'all for that, man. Because y'all are just, it's, it's hard to be like... It's hard to be around a lot of good people at once. You, you don't find many places where you're around a lot of good people at once. But Team Keep It Clean, y'all y'all make that happen every day. So I appreciate y'all for who y'all are and what y'all do literally every single day. Always uplifting each other. Always, even if it's disagreements or whatnot, it's still handled respectfully. So I, I always appreciate that and I will always appreciate that. Uh, so he said, now, it's been a long minute since I've written in. Last week spoke, I told you that I'd be sitting tightly clenched to see if the Ravens draft a wide receiver in round one. Now... That, that's over, and Zay got me feeling good. The clinch is slowly returning because of our offensive line. <laughs> it's not looking good. I saw something that said Lamar is the number four most hated player in the NFL. Why? Who knows? But people love to come up with reasons to hate on him, and I think the O-line is next to few the haters. If they can't hold blocks, having a loaded wide receiver room is not going to make one bit of a difference. 
He's going to be scrambling all game. Then the haters will say, see, told you he was trash. He can't throw all those receivers, and he still can't pass for over 4,000 yards, and so on and so on. I'm afraid our worst fears will come true again. The old line costs us cost us our QB because they can't hold blocks. And now with the news about our already thin cornerback room losing its best cornerback for the opening of the season, I'm getting real nervous. It's getting real tight over here. Uh, the old line could potentially cost us the season, and the defense may not be good enough to save us. What do you think? Keep up the good work and blessings to you and the fam and all the team. Keep it clean. And just like the old line, I'm out on this guy. <laughs> all right, so um, I get it. I, I get the fear and the, the, the cause for concern. Um, I think if they get that left guard spot shored up, then I think they'll be, I think they'll be all right. Um, the left guard spot is up for grabs. I can see it going to Pat McCarry, even though they kind of want him to be that sort of do it all type of guy and stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready type of guy. Not necessarily a starter, but he could. I um I don't think that I don't think it's gonna be Salah. I don't think it's gonna be Cleveland. I don't even think it's gonna be John Simpson that gets the starting left guard spot. I, and then there's a part of me that even thinks that left guard that left guard is not even on the roster right now. Um, but we'll we'll see. They they still got a little bit of time to get that figured out, but we'll see how that goes. Um, as far as the receivers, the receivers can't actually help if the offensive line is bad, which hopefully they won't be. Because if you can have a good offensive line and you got these good receivers, oh, it could just make everything that much easier. But as far as uh, having good receivers, they can help a lot. Look at Joe Burrow with Jamar Chase and T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd. You see them over there. Uh, when, when Joe Burrow had a bad offensive line, one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL. But those receivers still went off. And they, they could do that because, why, yeah, while the O-line wasn't bad, he had receivers that he could trust. And he could get it to them. And sometimes, sometimes he'd get it to them quick. Sometimes it'd take a little bit longer. But he would get it to the receivers and they would make stuff happen. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, off offensive line is obviously super important. Uh, keeping Lamar Jackson upright is super important because – as he goes, the Ravens go, as we all know. Uh, this offense, they, they put in a lot into this offense, and they need it to work. So they ha it has to work um, because that is essential literally to everything. It's essential to winning. It's essential to um, helping the defense, especially while Marlon Humphrey is out, like you mentioned. Uh, it's just essential to everything that they do, and it's going to be essential to their success. So they, they got to make this thing work.